So let's do another form. In this case, we're going to do factoring trinomials. And factoring trinomials in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. Well, remember, there's four different situations that you can have with these. And it would be something like this, x squared plus bx plus c, which becomes x plus some number times x plus some number. If I have x squared minus bx plus c, this becomes x minus some number times x minus some number. If I have x squared plus bx minus c, I have x plus x minus opposite signs, and this is going to be the bigger factor. So I'm just going to put that bf for bigger factor. And if I have x squared minus bx minus c, again, I'm going to have opposite signs. But in this case, because this is negative, this is going to be the bigger factor, minus. Okay. So a few examples of something like this. If I have this one, x squared minus 8x plus 7. So I have x and x. The only factors of 7 are 7 and 1. Nice to have a prime number. Same signs, both negative. So look up if you have to for the signs, minus and minus. How do I know I'm right? Negative 7 minus 1 gives me negative 8. Negative 7 times a negative 1 gives me a positive 7. If I have this one, k squared minus 3k minus 10. So we have k and k, opposite signs, what is, gives us uh, 10, gives us 5 and 2, that multiplies to 10. Again, check your signs, so you should have a minus 5 and a plus 2. If I have this one, y squared minus 6y plus 9. y and y. Well, factors of 9 that get me to 6. 3 and 3. Again, check your signs. Same signs, both negative. Your book may put it this way because there's two of the same thing. Perfectly fine. Doesn't matter either way. And if I have u squared plus u minus 6, u and u factors of six that get me to one three and two opposite signs bigger factor positive that's part one of factoring trinomials in the second part of this one same type of thing what happens when we have a gcf we'll look at that next